What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are going to be going over the vacation party. I'm going to try to give you guys some different scenarios of how many scrolls you need to use and different situations. The best advice you can have for this event if you are going for that golden crown is slow play your summons. Because technically, I mean, you don't really need to do four loops of this summoning event, especially not for this hero. But if you want to use scrolls to get a guaranteed crown... It might be worth it, because let's be honest, at the end of the day, heroes kind of come and go. Transcendents are kind of pushing a lot of heroes out of even contention in the meta. I feel like if Sword Flash wasn't around, we'd probably be really impressed with uh, with Shao's actual active ability. But because she does exist, he does pale in comparison. But you can get some really good rewards by using your scrolls in this event. So you have to decide if it's worth it to you. And that's what we're going to break down. Different scenarios, how much you can get from different areas. So let's jump right into it. So starting off, we're going to talk about how many summons or I guess you could say set outs it takes to get all the rewards and potentially move on to the next zone. So if you're going to be in Chengdu, the total required pulls are going to be 280. Now that's if you're absolutely completely unlucky because I know people who did their very first one and they got the Panda Doll. What the Panda Doll does is it immediately unlocks it in the second area. So you then have to decide, well, do I keep going here to try to get that crown or do we just jump to the next one up who has a little bit better of a travel chest, has a little bit better of everything in here. Again, you get the soup dumpling, that will unlock the Hong Kong, so on and so forth. You could get extremely lucky here, but it's going to take 280 for Chengdu. For Shanghai, it's going to take 320. For Hong Kong, it's going to take 360. And for Beijing, it will take 400 for everything completed. Now, no one's really going to do that unless you're buying out the shop because it takes a total of 1360 to get every single reward. But technically, you can skip a bunch of them. If you get this soup dumpling early and you don't want the other things in that Shanghai location, you can just move on. So that is not too bad. So where are we going to be getting these little bamboo shoots? Well, first off, we have the vacation party, the goal rewards right here. You can get a total of 70 here. Sadly, you can only get 20 if you do not use any heroic scrolls and do not spend money. That means you're not even going to be able to press that button one time because as you guys know, it costs 35 but if you are going to do some heroic summons and you get up to 500, which is going to be, I believe, a total of 200 scrolls will get you to 500. Yeah, 200 scrolls will get you to 500 here. That'll give you 70. That means you have two shots. So if you use 200 scrolls and you complete the rest of these events, obtaining five-star heroes, uh, starting one four-star or above tavern quest and consuming a thousand gems, you can get two summons. I'm calling them summons, but they're two set outs, two pulls, I guess you just say. And the crown is a 10% chance. That's not horrible. I've seen people already tell me that they got it on their very first pull. It is purely RNG. So I will just say good luck to all of you. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, 200 scrolls, that's not a big limiter. Like if you can do the rest of these things during this event, it might be worthwhile to do the 200 and then slow play it from there. You will get 280 of them from doing the actual summoning event because you're going to be getting a total of 70 of these bamboo shoots every single loop. If you're only doing 200, you'll actually get an extra 30. I want to do like 300 and then you get one additional pull by doing 300 scrolls. You do get a core, you get an extra summon. It might be worthwhile if you're not spending any money at all on this event. Of course, there's also the last special pack. You can get 60 from there for $50. It's a decent deal. We'll talk about the happy vacation card as well. Just get it. If you're a low spender, these cards are always absolutely amazing value wise you probably just want to do it. So you can also get the bamboo shoots from the value packages. I mean, you probably just want to stay away from those, to be honest. Well, let's talk more of the not whaling type version. So there's going to be a couple different ways we can do this event. 
First off, vacation party, you can just not do any heroic summoning scrolls. You'll get to 400 points. You'll get all these rewards. It's nice. I mean, it's convenient. You get some gems back refunded. You get some scrolls. You can save up for the future. It's not too bad. It's not amazing either. But if you do 200 scrolls, like I said, you will get to the 50 bamboo shoots. And if you want to max out all 800 points here and get all of these rewards, which let's be honest, these aren't really necessary or great. You're going to need to do 800 heroic summons, 10,000 gems for this guy right here. And you're going to have to pull the 40 five star heroes. Hmm. And of course, the tavern quest, but that, that shouldn't be too difficult. I feel like most people should be able to do it. I don't know if that's really worth it, per se. Like, if you're going to go for here and then stop, I would say just do 200 scrolls. I think that would be kind of the best advice I can give you. But we will go into a couple breakdowns of different ways to do this. So if you are just buying this to have and you're not doing anything else in the event, this will essentially get you two summons if you do a, if you get to the 20 points right here. Um you can get two summons, two chances to pull the crown. That's not too bad. Now, if you also do an additional amount of scrolls, you're going to get potentially three of them, which is a better chance. I mean, there's only eight items here, three pulls. It's only a 10% chance, but there's only eight items. It's not that bad. Now, if you break it down and you do 200 scrolls and get this $50 pack, that means you are going to be getting a four roll chance. So four out of eight, that's not too bad, really. That's pretty good. If you want to step it up one further and you want to get to the 500 right here to get the additional 50, you're going to want to do 550 heroic scrolls and buy the five, uh, the $50 pack here. That's going to give you six rolls. That pretty much guarantees it, but not really. If you really want to guarantee what you're going to get, you're going to want to do one, just over 1,000 scrolls, I think it is. It's right around 1,000. I think you need to do an extra 50 points. Let's see. It's 70, 140. Yeah, you need 150 from here. So you need to do 1,050 heroic scrolls. Pretty sure this math checks out. Plus get the $50 pack and that will guarantee the crown with the worst possible luck you could have. Or if you don't want to spend any money, you will have to do $1,500 and do a full three loops of this. And that should be pretty much what you want. But again, this event is purely, purely, hugely RNG based. Like I, like I said, I've already had multiple people tell me, Barry, I did one pull and I got my golden crown. So you can either love that fact or you can hate it. But uh, yeah, after that, if you do get super lucky, you get the crown and you get the panda. Just say you get both of those. Uh, you could move on because then there's a 5% chance to get a mysterious artifact chest. That's not that bad. If you have like the best luck in the world, you can even get to this chest. Like if you summon here, if you pull from here and you get the crown and then the panda... And then you come over to here, you get the chest, and then the dumpling. And then you come over here and get the chest. You can legitimately get these for like under 300 bamboo, which is kind of crazy. Like for the same cost it would be to completely clear this out, 280-ish, you could essentially get two Bedouin artifact chests and a golden crown. It's kind of crazy. Um, these boxes are pretty decent. You get a chance at the star spawn cores that are very, 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 very needed. And then, of course, if you get super lucky or you whale out, the best thing about these travel chests is it has tons and tons of hard rock master toolboxes. These are very good as well. Master toolboxes are crazy. I mean, toolboxes as well are very crazy. Now, I don't know. Open the chest to select one of the rewards. Yeah, you have to decide what you're going to pick. I do think the master toolboxes might be one of the best things you could pick up. But if you're being stuck by hard rock, I mean, it just depends. Um, yeah, but but the chances of getting here, even doing a full quad loop and not spending and buying packs is going to be very, very, very low. So what I'm going to recommend, if you do not have a ton of heroic scrolls to kind of use and everything, I would highly recommend you do this very, very slowly. Do them one pull at a time until you get the crown. If you got 1500 scrolls, that is. If you have less than that, you might just want to save and try to get your free one off of like, I don't know. Just a few scrolls, do 200, try your luck, and then wait. I mean, it's not great spending 200 because that puts you behind for another big event, but 
it might be worth it so if you are a spender though on this account is probably a good idea to get to this guy immediately you want to get there and you want those gift boxes these travel chests are like the best value plus of course you're getting mysterious artifact chests and all that stuff so hopefully this helped cleared it up there's a lot of information there's a lot of different ways you can get to it so math is important i hope i clarified a few different ways that you can get to different checkpoints or get enough chances to maybe maybe get that crown hopefully you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think in the comments down below i'll see you guys next time